Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be showing you 5 ways to help you land hook swings more consistently. The first way is to make hook swing predictions like this. Now this does take a lot of skill and a lot of practice and so I will be making a separate video completely dedicated to it. But put simply, what you're trying to do is observe patterns in their movements and predict where they're going to go and then hook swing there and then they'll dodge into your hook swing like this. As I said, this takes lots of practice, but once you get it down, it's very hard for your enemies to do anything about it and it does lots of damage like this. Method number two is to count their dodges. As you can see here, once I get Kenobi low, I wait until he dodges twice to know he has no dodges left in his cycle, and then I go for the hook swing. Again, I wait for him to dodge once, twice, and then a third time to be sure before I go for the hook swing. This is very powerful because once your enemy is out of dodges, there's nothing they can do to avoid the hook. Again, watch in this clip here how I wait for my enemy to dodge and then I go for the hook swing. I miss that one so I wait for them to dodge and then I get the hook. Method number 3 is to do double or even triple hook swings. This works well if you're finding that your hook swings are usually hitting your enemy's block when they should be hitting their body and dealing damage, or against enemies that like to dodge backwards. See here how after I made the hook prediction, my hook swing hit that block, but since I did a double hook swing, it ended up getting killed. As I said, this also works well against enemies that like to dodge backwards, because you'll continue the momentum and then catch them after they dodge. The fourth method to make hook swings a more reliable and better move is to swing after you land them to deal extra damage. What this does is it gives you a pretty much free back hit on your enemy and will usually kill them if they're relatively low health. As you see here, I make the hook prediction and then I swing an extra time to get the kill. This deals heaps of damage and you can even use an ability like Luke's Rush. The fifth and final thing to do to make hook swings better is to make them unpredictable by using things other than running to get momentum. This could include Dooku's left dodge attack or his second swing animation, Luke, Rey, Yoda, and Maul's rush. All these things will give you enough momentum to do a hook swing and can make them more unpredictable. And those are my five ways to make hook swings better and more reliable in Battlefront 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you land hook swings more consistently in the future. And with that being said, have a great day, subscribe for more Battlefront 2 content, and I'll see you out on the Battlefront.